Hey, it's Pamela Vanda Walker, and I'm excited to be with you today to talk about Let the Children Praise and Worship. Today, we're going to talk about how should we praise. So I love this segment because I'm a super practical person, and so we're going to put some real feet to what we can do to praise God. If this content is of interest to you, we ask that you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. So there's a lot of ways we can praise God, and I'm just going to focus on seven for today. The first one is to clap our praise. Psalm 47.1 says that we can clap our praises to God. So when we're clapping praise, we are giving approval by that action of clapping. Another way is found in Psalm 35. It says to shout unto God with a voice of triumph. So we can say, yay, God, using our shouting voice. And again, saying that God is great. It's a natural reaction when something wonderful has happened to shout, like when someone makes a goal or a touchdown. You're like, yes, and God desires that type of praise too. Ephesians 3.14 says that we can bow before God in reverence, and that is an act of praise. I tell you, uh, I think that when we first see God in heaven, that would be an appropriate expression of praise and reverence to bow before him because he is so holy. Another way that we can praise God is found in Psalm 134 too. It says, we can lift holy hands in praise. And often when we lift our hands in praise, it help us, helps us to focus on Him. Of course, one of the best ways to praise God is found in Psalm 47.6. We can sing our praise. I love that because I'm a musician. And I think that's why so many worship services have worship songs and hymns as part of them. So to praise God, we should always have a song on our lips and in our hearts and ready to sing. Another way that we can praise God is through movement or dancing. Psalm 149 talks about that. And we can express our joy um, or our sorrow to God. And that is a way that we can express or show approval to God. And then the final way that we can praise God, there are other ways, of course, these are just the ones we're focusing on today, is found in Psalm 150. Psalm 150 is all about using instruments to praise God. We can praise him with the harp, uh, the trumpets. It says, let everything that hath breath praise God. Uh, and so instruments are wonderful, whether they're non-pitched, where kids are just keeping a steady beat to a praise song or a hymn, or if you are actually making melody on an instrument that you have. There are lots of ways to praise God, and the Bible tells us we should do that. So we need to encourage our children to use a multitude of ways to say good things about our God.